Romero Osley finally decides to share some points. And the Oklahoma Sooners come away with a three-point victory in Waco, Texas on Wednesday night. Huge victory for Oklahoma and their goals that they're trying to accomplish this season. What's going on, everybody? I'm Matt Hofeld, CrimsonandCreamMachine.com. Mara Osby has been Oklahoma's leading scorer in every game since conference play started. Obviously, he's going to attract most of the attention from the opposing defense. That's exactly what happened in Waco, Texas on Wednesday night when the Baylor Bears focused all their attention on Osby. What that did was it left open Amat Mbai and Stephen Pledger to go off for season-high 20 points each. The end result was a three-point win for Oklahoma, 74-71 and a very huge boost in Oklahoma's efforts to reach the postseason. We've been saying all season long that the magic number for OU is 20 wins. Now they're at 14, so that leaves that number at six. You gotta think that there's two games left on the schedule against TCU. Oklahoma makes a trip to Lubbock, Texas to play the Red Raiders, and so you'd almost think right there, that's three wins, that's half of what they need. Not, to, not counting home games still against West Virginia, and then also the trip to Texas to take on the Longhorns in Austin. The big story, though, is Oklahoma finding help outside of Romero Osby. It was almost a missing component for the Sooners this season. It's a huge testament of the growth of this team to this point. Uh, they're moving forward with more of a team concept instead of individuals. You always want Romero Osby to do well. That's, he's the heart and soul of this team at this point, the senior leader. But to have a guy like Stephen Pledger, also a, se a senior, go off for 20 points why Ahmad Mbai uh, is able to assist in that role as well with 20 points on his own, it really puts this in perspective that any given night, the Sooners have multiple guys who can hurt you both inside and outside. With the win over Baylor on Wednesday night, you, you have to think it propels Oklahoma to that number three spot in the conference standings. Now our, our weekly Big 12 power rankings won't come out until this weekend after we see what happens in the weekend games, but clearly there's Kansas still number one in the Big 12, and you gotta give Kansas State just the notch just below them. The only two losses of the season are to Iowa State and Kansas. Now Iowa State's been hurt a little bit as of late with losses, so you gotta put Oklahoma with that win over Baylor in the number three spot right now, which means there's a lot more that they are playing for this Saturday because if the Sooners walk off the court here at Lloyd Noble Center Saturday afternoon as victors over the Wildcats, they will have solidified themselves for now as the second best team within the Big 12 Conference. SB Nation's CrimsonCreamMachine.com. I'm Matt Hofeld.